Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining week five of the Six Weeks to Success. I just wanted to take a moment and to recognize that um, you're here and you're working your business and we appreciate that and you know, every statistic that you can find about successful direct sales people, um, they're the ones who do the training, they're the ones who put in the work and put in the time and that's exactly what you're doing now. So I just wanted to take a moment and thank you for that. And um, you can give yourself a little pat on the back for that as well and recognize that you're doing something awesome for your business. So week five, as I said, is all about recruiting. You know, it's been said often that in direct sales, your parties pay for your bill, or all, all of your bills, and the residual income from your team and your downline is what pays your mortgage. That is how powerful recruiting really is. It's sharing this amazing business opportunity in this industry that hopefully we've all fallen in love with. It's a fantastic business model. And um, it's also about mentoring your downline to do the same, to have that same passion for their business. Now at the same time, recruiting is often overthought. And honestly, the most important step for many stylists is just to change their way of thinking about recruiting. It's all about your mindset, you know, recruiting, prospecting, sponsoring, whatever you want to call it, all it is is sharing. Seriously, that's it. When you keep it simple and make sure you don't make a bigger deal out of it than it really is. Just like, you know, we've always said before, um, there's never going to be a perfect time to start recruiting. You may not feel ready for it yet, um, but you never know where your next rock star might come from. You might be at your first party. Just say if you meet someone that's interested and if you're not super, super confident, just tell her, you know what, let's learn together. You have a mentor who's there to support you and you have us in the home office. You have prospect packets and you can do all your follow-up. That's your system. The home office, your mentor, your prospect packets and your follow-up. Don't lose sight of the fact that we offer an incredible gift to our hostesses and an exponential one to those that we mentor and bring onto our team. So as the graphic shows you here, sharing only one aspect of our industry, it's like rowing a kayak with only one oar on one side. You're going to go in a big old circle. Move your business forward by sharing the sales and the business opportunities. Just like you row left, right, left, right, it's all about sales and then the business opportunities, sales and stylist opportunities. So make sure you're sharing both of them. Now you want to share the opportunity with everyone. Lose all of your preconceived notions and your judgment. It's funny because, you know, we've had ladies join our team or our team of stylists who we in the home office would never even think they wanted to do this business. Um, and it was all of our preconceived notions and we learned a great lesson from that. When you consider what we have to offer and what you personally love about your business, it really is selfish to keep it to yourself when you think about it. Think of the friendships you've formed, the fun you've had, and yeah, the money you've made or, or will make. Um, also think about, you know, when you're out and about going around um, sowing your seeds. A lot of times when I go to dinner, I'll leave a lookbook or a flyer with my business card and then a note for a waitress saying something about how, um, you know, I work in direct sales and I really value customer service and I felt so well taken care of by you that I really think you'd be a fantastic member of my team and I'd love to talk to you about adding an extra stream of income to your bank account. Um, so what way just wouldn't love to make, you know, $150 an hour versus $7 an hour plus whatever tips you can get for that evening. You also want to, with your business, you want to be duplicable. Um, you want to make it something that your team can easily duplicate. The easier you make this business, the better and easier you're going to recruit people. No one wakes up in the morning thinking, hmm, I want to be really stressed out today. Uh, make your system simple and then teach that to your team so that people see you easy, carefree, stress-free. Um, have systems in place and always be ready to close that deal. Deb Bixler talks about um, the fact that people don't fail, their systems fail. So if something isn't working, tweak your system. Be the type of person that you really want to work with. Just like you want to be the type of person you want to have in your house for the hostess opportunity, you want to be the type of person you want you would personally would want to work with for the stylist opportunity. The next one, put a big star, highlight this one. Um, so important. Follow up 
when you get a green light question or comment, we'll talk about those in a sec, and um, exchange information. Remember, you're not just handing out a business card. You're exchanging their information for your information. Make sure you follow up within 24 hours. And make sure as you exchange information that you let her know, you know, I'm going to contact you within 24 hours, and then do it. It's going to build trust, and she's going to learn that when you say you're going to do something, it's going to happen. Recruit so cold quickly. People are excited. Um, if you wait a couple of days, she might um, fall by the wayside. She loses that excitement. If someone says something about wanting to join, jump on it. Be it the MasterCard or American Express. <laughs> you can also say something like, um, great, awesome, I'd love to have you on my team. Um, do you have questions or are you just ready to get a kid on this way to you? Um, in other words, are you ready to, to join right now? Now, if someone's a little bit off the fence, if she's thinking about it, if she's kind of going back and forth, say something like, awesome, what do you think about hosting a kickoff party? Now, there's a couple ways to do a kickoff party. Either way, she's going to act as the hostess, and you are going to host this coach the heck out of her to get a fantastic party. Now, there's a couple options here. You can either sign up at the end of the evening and get all the bookings, recruits, customers, and the commissions from that party. Or sometimes stylists like to keep that party under them. They get the commissions and she gets all the benefits from the party. The thing about if she signs up at the end of the party, um, if she acts as a presenter, she's going to hit the ground active. She's going to be active immediately. And if you're ready to promote, this is a great way to do it. Now, Janessa, in an earlier call, had asked if you can have the kickoff party after she joins before she gets her kit and use your samples. And absolutely, that's a fantastic idea. I love that Jeanette to share that with me. So, um, yes, if she's joined and her kit's on its way to her, have a party and, and use your samples. That's awesome. Now, if she decides at the end of the evening that she doesn't want to sign up after all, guess what? You have a room full of women there. Maybe someone else wants her in commission for the night and start up a, a business with me and Kat. That's why it's so important to always share that um, stylist opportunity. During your presentation, you're going to mention to everyone that, hey, this is her kickoff party, that all of their orders um, and all of their bookings are going to support her in this new business. So um, they can really be a part of her joining and a part of supporting her from the get-go. Now, after the party, you're going to get her signed on. You're going to give her a quick lay of the land of the website, the stylist form, the extranet. Show her how to enter a show, um, how to close it. Um, if time permits that night, how to close it. Um, you can show her how to put in all the orders and all that stuff. You know, on that note, it's important to have a closing date for your party. It adds a sense of urgency for the guests. A lot of times they're like, oh, I'll, I'll order something tomorrow, I'll order something tomorrow. Um, so there at the party, let them know, hey, I close out my parties on Wednesdays um, after the weekend, so make sure you get your orders to me. A lot of times if someone's on the fence, they'll jump and get it done if there's a little bit of urgency to it. Now, within the first day or so after she joins, you want to get her on one of the Facebook groups, welcome her, keep her excited. Get her started training on the six weeks to success from the get-go right away. Within a few days, three days, as the um, name implies, you're going to go over the 72-hour meeting. It's, again, it's all about excitement. She's just joined. She's really excited. Get her in training. Get her first few practice parties on the book. Um, go over the fresh start with her so that she knows what opportunities there are for free weaning and cat pieces as well as that um, laptop or that gorgeous PC code. You want to also touch base with her when her kit comes, whether you're there with her or you're on the phone. Make sure she already has that practice party plan for right after the kit arrives um, so that she can start making money quickly, as quickly as possible. Success always leads to more success. You want to stay in contact with your team as they join and as you build. You want to, again, keep your system simple, easy to replicate, and then coach them to coach this to their team members. That will keep your business self-sustaining. Um, if you have local teams, have some meetings and trainings. Keep them really fun. Um, I found out here in Southern California, we have a lot of these. We have monthly team meetings, and pretty much every time we have one, someone joins. So it's a great way to show people how fun this business is. So green light means go. Um, these are all examples of green light questions, um, maybe comments too. Some of them might not look really, really positive, even though they are. 
Um, a lot of times people will ask, how much money do you make? You can answer it quickly with, you know, our average party is $1,000 right now, or you can give them your average party. I make 25% of that. Um, so if an average party is $1,000, you make $250 for the evening. Um, here's this one that sounds kind of negative. You don't really make money at this, do you? Well, yeah, in fact, I do. You know, our average party is $1,000, and I make 25% of that. So um, on an average evening, I make $250. How does that sound to you? You know, you always want to follow it up with a question and get them talking. You want your potential recruits talking 80% of the time. You only want to speak like 20% of the time. They might ask, how many days a week do you work? How did you learn to do this? Um, she might even say, oh, my gosh, I could never do this. You're way too good at this. This is where you can use it's the feel, felt, sound technique. Um, you say something like, you know, I know exactly how you feel. In fact, I felt the same way when I started up. Uh, but what I found is that, you know, William Tech has great training and mentorship, and through practice, I've really gotten comfortable doing this. So, you know, what concerns you the most? A lot of times when people have concerns, ask them directly, what concerns you most about the business? And then you can address it. Um, this is one I love. How does your husband feel about you leaving the house? And my husband would never let me do this. Um, again, feel felt found. You know what? My husband felt a lot of the same way, but then when my commission check came for our trip to Cabo San Lucas, he changed his mind real quick, and now he helps me pay, or helps me pack for my party. Um, my husband was always supportive, but I did pay for our trip to Cabo, and he did help me pack the party. And, um, yeah, husbands get real supportive real fast when we start making money. So um, that's an important part of it as well. That support is awesome, and I know a lot of you have stories where your um, significant others are very supportive, and I love that. Something to brag about. You want to know your comp plan, at least the broad strokes of it. When someone asks, how do you make money in this business? Again, no, um, no, the general answer. We we earn 25 to 30 percent on our retail sales, and between two and two to seven percent on that of our downline. Make sure to know where you are in the top plan, as well as one to two levels up. Not only will this, it's going to keep you reaching forward in your business, but then you're going to know how to acquaint your downline with the top plan, and you're going to get them thinking about um, where they are and one to two levels up. So, some things you want to know about your top plan. First, you want to know the fresh start. Um, it's great to share with um, prospects, and it's also great to incentivize your team. Again, success leads to success. Get them started off on the right foot, get them excited, and then maintain the excitement. That fresh start is great to create momentum in their business from the start. Think about the fresh start being an expectation. Absolutely. Do you want to get a Gucci coat? Yeah. Or a MacBook? Yeah. Um, it should be expected. Everyone should walk away with 18 shows and get that done. You want to study the leadership level and their residual income possibilities. It's good for you to understand also, and again, you're going to want to teach this to your team. For instance, a stylist too who has one active person or one person who makes $400 a month, who's right underneath her on her team, makes 4% on their level one downline. So if that person, if Mary joins under Jenny, if Mary makes $3,000 in a month and she gets power seller, or that happens to be power seller, that's going to be $120 in Mary's commission. And if Mary is the one on, on, in charge of, at the top of that um, team. Now if Mary becomes a stylist manager, she's going to earn 7% on her level one. She's going to earn 7% on what Jenny makes. Let's say Jenny makes $3,000. Um, that's going to be $210 in Mary's pocket in her commission. Now think about this four years down the road when you have hundreds in your downline, especially being a ground floor company. Ladies, this is where it gets really excited and magical. This is the residual income that you essentially make in your sleep. Always look to the next level, set new goals every month, and then try to beat the time it took you to reach your goals, whether it's the amount of volume you sell or the amount of women you recruit. So um, you want to front load your calendar, it's called, so that all, most, the bulk of your parties are happening earlier and earlier in the month so that you're not rushed to meet those goals at the end of the month. Let's say you hit power seller at $3,000 on the 30th of the month. The following month, why not try to hit it on the 25th? And then the following month, try to hit it on the 20th. That would be, can you imagine hitting all your goals by the 20th? 
and the rest is just icing on the cake. I mean, that's goosebumps. That's exciting. Um, you also want to know what additional bonuses Winnie & Cat offers. You can earn, for instance, a $150 advancement bonus when you promote to Stylus 3, which you have two active legs and $600 personal volume to be Stylus 3. So if you promote to Stylus 3 by the end of the third full month in the company, that's a $150 advancement bonus. That's exciting. Um, you want to know what minimums Winnie & Cat has. Ours are pretty generous. Um, $400 per month to be active, and that gets you paid on your downline sales. You also, another minimum we have is $1,200 personal volume in one year to be eligible to renew at $59. Now, hopefully, these are never an issue. You always want to be active. Um, you always want to be selling and making money. So, and again, try to hit all of your goals very early. So you want to be active within the first, like, week. Like, the end of the first week of the month to, um, to reach that particular goal. You want to know how much to start and what's included. Have the kit graphics in your prospect package, and then know the general amount of how much you spent on rack, business card, etc. This is where it's important to, to be really careful about how much you spend. You want it to be affordable for people and doable. Keep in mind, too, that this is a fraction of what a brick and mortar business costs. Um, there's no leases, there's none of that. So that's another positive about our business. It's mobile, it goes anywhere with us, and um, if you have to put it off to the side for a little bit, you can. Direct sales is such a gift, it's an amazing business model. Now, maybe also in the party plan B versus the for success, he recommends having a brag book, and this is a really fun thing. Now, keep it simple and inexpensive. I don't want you to spend a ton of time or money on it. It can be a photo um, album or it can be a simple free ring binder. And it's just going to be how becoming an independent stylist changed your life. So some ideas, maybe you could have your first commission statement and then one one year later or six months later. Anytime you have like a little increase in your, your commission, add that. What industry in the whole world allows you to give yourself a raise? I mean, nothing. That's, again, it's such a gift. Um, also include any recognition you've received, any awards you've been given, any correspondence from the company. Um, include a ton of pictures, any trips you took with your commission check, home parties, maybe you um, presented, selfies with your team members or hostesses. What retreats have you gone on? Maybe you have a plane ticket to your first convention or retreat or um, something from the, the hotel or whatever, like a little pamphlet from the hotel where you stay. Um, you want to have pictures of your family. This is part of your why. Um, whether it's your boyfriend, you, your friends, um, it can be anyone. What trips have you guys gone on with your commission? Or if your commission, if you have kids, your commission pays for special lessons, sports, concerts, um, evenings out, maybe a dinner out with friends. Um, include that. Include pictures of that or even like a receipt from the evening or, or a ticket stub. Put that all in your bag book so that people can check it out. Um, also, if you have a team, make sure you're sending them fun things. It can even be like a, a little silly blue ribbon or something that you know, lets them know that they're a star and they're doing great. And then that's something they can include in their brag book. Now this you can leave out while you're taking orders. And then sometimes as you're entering orders, there's not a lot of chatting that goes on because you're doing mental math and stuff. So it's something that guests can flip through as you're um, doing all of the work. And then wait for those green light questions. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. You know, oh yeah, well, you know, this is from my trip to wherever. And, um, you know, does this look like a business you would enjoy doing? And then, you know, listen to what she has to say. So, the brag book is really fun. Now finally, dun dun dun, homework. Um, contact the CG Stone for follow-up, even if it's been a while. Um, <laughs> honesty time. If you contacted some people um, the first week and you haven't gotten back to them yet, um, don't worry about it. Give them a call. Hi, sorry, it's been a little while since I contacted you, but I'd love to connect and um, I'd love to chat with you about how I can share this business with you. Make sure you're doing your follow-up. The fortune is in the follow-up. Spend one day gardening. Go out there handing out, um, exchanging information and giving, um, leaving little gardening gifts in place, from place to place. Um, book one or more trunks go in the next two weeks. So simple. You got this. 
So I'd love to hear how your homework's going from the past few weeks. Let me know if you have any questions, of course, you can always reach out to the home office. And as always, we're going to leave you with a quote. It is literally true you can succeed best and quickest by helping others succeed. Napoleon Hill. I love this. This is such a symbiotic business model that we are involved in, and it's such a gift that you give others. And in gifting others the gift of this business, they help you grow your business. And I mean, that if that doesn't give you goosebumps and get you excited, I don't know what does. I love any business model where, where helping each other is our path to success. So celebrate that with your team. Pat your team on the back. Pat yourself on the back. Um, get the homework done. Let me know how it goes. Reach out to the home office with anything you need. And thank you, thank you so much for joining us. Have a fantastic week, guys. Happy partying.